hello today we will discuss the dynamic memory so this is the single transistor dynamic memory single say uh, this circuit uses single transistor per cell so this is the single transistor per cell when the capacitor is charged c data is charged it is treated as a logic one one bit when the this capacitor c data will be discharged this is treated as a treated as a zero bit now first of all we perform the read operation so to perform the read operation first of all we will charge the data line this data line to vdd by 2 vdd by 2 so and then we activate word line if we activate word line then m1 will be on so first of all we charge the data line to vdd by 2 and then we activate word line if the word line will be activated then the m1 will be on if the initially one bit is stored means voltage upon this capacitor is equal to vdd so voltage upon this capacitor is vdd and voltage upon this capacitor is vdd by 2 so redistribution of the charge will be take place between both capacitor c data line and the c data if the charge upon the c data line capacitor will be increases it means that one bit is stored in the memory if the zero bit is stored in the memory then the capacitor uh, the, then the charge on this capacitor will be zero so charge on upon this capacitor is zero and charge voltage upon this capacitor is vd by 2 so again the redistribution of the charge will be take place if the voltage upon c data line will be decreases then we it is treated as a logic zero is stored in the data line so read one when the voltage of the data line increases it indicates that a stored bit in the dynamic ram is one read zero when the data line voltage decreases it means when the it means zero is stored in the dynamic ram cell therefore direction of the voltage change essentially determines the value of the stored data if the voltage upon the c data line will in increases it means bit 1 is stored if the voltage upon c data line will be decreases it means 0 bit will be 0, zero bit is stored write operation during the write operation new value is written in the dynamic ram by placing the data to the to be written on the data lines and word line is activated based upon the data value the cell capacitance is either charged or discharged if it is charged then it is bit 1 if it will be discharged then it will be bit 0 now it is the three transistor dynamic ram m1 m2 m3 line 1 line 2 read line write line read line is connected to m3 and write line is connected to m1 i think m2 is in between m1 and the m3 this is the c1 capacitor connected to the line 1 and this is the c2 capacitor connected to the line 2 now First of all, we, we will perform write one operation. To perform the write one operation, we force, we make line one to one and line two to zero. So if we make line one to one, uh, one and line two to zero, then C1 will be charged and C2 will be discharged. So voltage upon the C1 will be VDD and voltage upon C2 is zero. Now we performing write operation, so we activate W line right uh, the right w line so if we activate w line then the m1 will be on so if, if the m1 will be on and the voltage upon this capacitor is vdd so this capacitor c will be charged through the this path this path the capacitor will be charges 
so uh, the data will be so capacitor will be charged so in this way one bit is stored in the this capacitor again if the then if the capacitor will be charged then we make we deactivate word line we deactivate word line if we deactivate word line then this mosfet acts as a open circuit and the voltage upon the capacitor remains as it is so in this way write one operation will be performed write zero operation perform write zero operation make line 1 to 0 and line 2 to vdd so if the line 1 make to 0 so the voltage upon the c1 will be 0 and voltage upon c2 will be equal to vdd and then we activate w line if we activate w line then the m1 will be on now capacitor this capacitor c will be discharged through this path and it make voltage upon capacitor will be zero if the voltage upon this capacitor will be zero again we deactivate the w line if we deactivate the w line then the, this act acts as a open circuit and the voltage upon the capacitor remains as it is so in this way we will perform write zero operation read one operation perform the read operation read one operation first of all we will pre-charge the line one and line two to the vdd first of all we will pre-charge line one and line to the vdd so if we pre-charge the line one and line two then the charge voltage upon capacitor c1 and c2 equal to vdd so voltage upon the c1 and c2 will be vdd now we activate the r line if we activate the r line then the m3 will be on m3 will be on so this will be on so if the one bit is stored in the memory so voltage upon this is vdd so if the voltage upon this at this point is vdd so m2 will be also on so if the m3 and m2 will be on so voltage upon this capacitor will be discharged through this path Discharge, so voltage upon this capacitor will be discharged through this path so reduction in the line 2 voltage if the voltage upon the capacitor c2 will be decreased then it is interpreted as a Log, stored one one bit is stored in the memory read zero operation read uh, zero operation first of all we force again data line one and data line two to vdd if the we force data line one and data line two to vdd cap voltage upon the c1 and c2 will be equal to vdd again we activate r line if we activate r line then m3 will be on if the m3 will be on m3 will be on now if the zero bit is stored then the voltage at this point is zero so m2 is off so voltage at this point remains constant so if the voltage upon the data line 2 remains constant then it is interpreted as a stored zero so in this way we will perform read one read zero write one write zero operation of the dynamic ram of the single transistor and the three transistor dynamic ram 